Welcome to the latest episode of the series How to Paint Miniatures. Hi! On today's video I have something very special and different. A friend of mine commissioned a Pathfinder Gargantuan Dragon for his kit. And that's what we'll be painting today. So I thought it would be nice to share the steps with you all. If you're enjoying these guides, consider subscribing for more miniature painting tutorials. And don't forget to like the video to help us. Shout out to Milan that chose the color scheme for this electric dragon. I hope you have a lot of adventures with this beast. This time I'll post the colors at the end, so let's jump right into it. The first step for this mini was priming and although it seemed this mini came primed, I decided to give another coat just in case. After that I painted the base of the dragon with macrage blue. I shaded the sides of the muscles and the darker parts of the scales with Drakenhof Nightshade. I also darkened the creases of the wings with it. Then I dry brushed Thousand Suns Blue on the center of the muscles, taking care not to go inside the scales too much, since I still wanted to see the darkened parts of the gradient of the Macridge Blue and Drakenhof Nightshade. I also used it for the second part of the wings gradient. Then I used Kislev Flash to create a gradient under the belly and the bottom part of the wings. For some electric magic, I used Nihilac Oxide to both dry brush the scales of the body and highlight the scales of the wings and feet. Then I mixed Hinox Hide and Mavstone Red on the wet palette to paint the tongue, leaving the gums darker than the tongue. I used Yush Body Bone to paint the horn, the nails and the spikes of the wings. After that, I dry brush Elder Flash on the spikes of the tail, dorsal line and neck of the dragon. Since it was still a bit shy on the color, I used Yush Body Bone to highlight the parts that I dry brushed with Elder Flash. I shaded the horns fully with Seraphine Sepia and used the same for the part of the nails closest to the feet and darkened the base of the wing spikes. While the shade was drying, I painted the base of the teeth with Hinox Hide. I chose Wraith Bone to highlight some parts of the horn and also painted the teeth. For the base of the eye, I used Averland Sunset. Then I took Flash Glitz Yellow to highlight the center of the dragon's eyes. Finally, I used Abaddon Black to make a slit and draw the pupil of the beast. I then finalized the model with some varnish for protection and here is the final result. Like I promise, here is the color list. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any constructive feedback, questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to drop in the comment section below. If you haven't done so, hit the bell button to get a notification when the next episode is up. See you next time!